picked these circuits up from uh, eBay for about three quid. Uh, you have to look for this specific type. So this is an AV level indicator. It's got 10 stages. So as you can see, it's got a couple of wires for the signal input and then a couple of wires for 12 volts. But to make it fit in a little box, we'll use nine volts. So just crudely for the uh, demonstration. And for speed, I'll just uh, take that in place. Like I say, this is very crude. And then we'll clip this battery into place. So it's a 9 volt battery, but there's sufficient power there. I'll just flip this light off. So there won't be a great deal of signal, obviously, if you put your fingers across the circuitry, which I wouldn't really advise to do. You'll actually see the light go up. And uh, you can see the, the first light there, just indicating that it's on. All right, it's, it's quite simple here on. Right, piezo. Piezo buzzer, basically. These can be uh, picked up off eBay. If you prepare to wait to get them from China, then um, you'll get them for about 20 pence. So the reason I've decided to build this geophone is because I've just sold our last one to a colleague. And now I'm out of stock, so I need to start building my own. So right, Pizzo's connected. So black to 0 volts and the red to the yellow, which is the 12 volts. So what we can see now is So as you can see, while I'm tapping the desk, not a lot's happening. When I tap the piezo, we're getting full rate. So what we do then is get a I think this is a two ounce fishing weight. So what you have to do is basically remove this lug, which I'm not gonna do again for the experiment. Make it nice and round, as round as possible, because you want it to be rolling around on this, but this will just sit flat because of the weight. So now you'll see. Probably a little bit light, but do that a considerable distance away. So quite simple. So you'd put it into a project box, an old project box, drill um I think these are three mil LEDs. So you'd use a 3.1 mil drill, drill 10 holes in parallel, mount that if you want it to be a variable i think that's a 10k pot um so there's some adjustment you can adjust the sensitivity so you can either make a hole in the side of the uh, your project box or you can actually wire it up to remove that and wire it up to a 10k pot so this is a type of project box uh, that would advise using so this is like one that we've used for temperature humidity and static box. So basically you've got the nine volt access to your battery in the back. Um, and that you probably have to have it mounted at the side. So you drill your holes down there and there's enough clearance to get the circuit board inside the unit. Thanks for looking.